Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I wanted to talk about the best way to install add-ons for World of Warcraft. I've seen a lot of new people in my comments saying they don't have any add-ons, they're new to WoW, this, that, and the other. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the two avenues to take to download and install WoW add-ons. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel. You can also find me streaming here on YouTube, as well as a Discord link in the description below. So there are two paths to take with add-on managers. There's Curse Forge, also known as Overwolf, which you may or may not have a heard a lot about kind of a controversial application they've done some things to fix that personally not sold on that and the other one as in recent news now works is wow up with curse forge this is what we're going to be focusing on here we are not going to be looking at the one with wago that is not quite up to date as much as curse forge add-ons are so a little history on curse forge and why it's kind of seen as a controversial application that people don't like to install even though people don't really have a choice of it now so back in the day, this company called Overwolf, which is notorious for ads and malware, bought out CurseForge. And I believe they were owned by Twitch slash Amazon back in the day. What they wanted to do is monopolize add-on management by trying to block every other forum of installing add-ons, CurseBreaker, Wow Up, um, and I think there are some other ones too that they blocked also. So you were forced to use Curse Forge with Overwolf. People were not happy, and who is with monopolies? It's never a good thing. The problem with Overwolf is it bombards the users with advertisements. You can't opt out of it. Um, they've been known to have malicious things run in the back on your computer. It makes your computer run generally slower because it was processing so much ad scripts in the background. Well, what Curse Forge did was they hid a version you have to go all the way down here for called Curse Forge Standalone Alpha. Well, as you can see, it's very hidden. They want you to download Curse Forge with Overwolf. Overwolf is a bad thing. Curse Forge Standalone, not as bad, but you know. At least we have the option. So that's a brief overview of Curse Forge, kind of why it's seen as not great with Overwolf. And they kind of address this a little bit by releasing the standalone alpha that does not include Overwolf, just Curse Forge. We'll flash forward to, I think, two weeks ago, Overwolf slash Curse Forge decided to open up their API to other clients, one of which being WowUp, which is a fantastic add on manager that is open source, love open source software. But unfortunately, it still pulls from CurseForge, but does not include any of the CurseForge applications running in the background. As you can see here in the picture, there are no ads. Nothing. If a Patreon, you support them through, and that's pretty much it. Now, again, we're not going to get into the Wago part. Now, if you're familiar with Wago.io, that's where all the profiles are for, for weak ores, Plater, LVY, and things like that. We're just going to do a quick run through on how to install both of these and how to manage your add ons. Okay, so let's do CurseForge first. So the first thing you want to do is go to curseforge.com. And again, all this will be linked down below. You're going to go to CurseForge app. And again, don't fall for the tricks. Don't follow the one with Overwolf. You want the standalone alpha. More download options. Downloads. Go the arrow, drop it down to standalone alpha. I'm going to pop it right there, whatever browser you're using. Click it. Okay. Use your language next. Decide wherever you want to put it. Install it. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so once it's installed, as you can see here, the first thing you're bombarded with is an ad. <laughs> right there. So what it's gonna do is automatically pull your games. It's gonna search for them. It'll have the retail, Wrath Classic, Classic, and the Dragonflight beta. So we're gonna focus on retail, and it's as simple as clicking Get More Add-ons, clicking the ones you want. So a bartender, you just click Install. That's it. Not much else to that. They have a great search function with categories, you know, auction, audio, video, pet battles. I mean, you name it, they got it. So yeah, that's CurseForge. Now we're gonna focus on what I use is Wow Up with CurseForge. Again, this is its own client. It does not have any overwolf for CurseForge data on your computer as far as I can tell, but it does pull from CurseForge for add-on data. Keep that in mind. So what you wanna do is go to wowup.io and you wanna download this one. Wow Up with CurseForge. Download beta now, same as last time. It's gonna put it there, it's gonna install. And you'll see here, there's not much differences between the two in terms of functionality, except there's one big thing WowUp does that CurseForge does not do. And what that is, is it updates LVUI. 
So if you use LVUI, you probably know you have to have your own client to update LVUI with. Well, WowUp does not require that. If you look here, TuckUI client is a separate add-on to manage your LVUI and TuckUI things. But this updates it here. So this one less program I have to worry about updating and keeping on to update my most used add-on. So again, very simple thing here. You want to click add-ons. It pulls your classic, your classic air, your beta, your retail as your categories here. Much cleaner, it's open source. I'm just an overall big fan of this. What we'll do here is we'll just sort it by download to see the most popular ones. I already have a lot of these installed. And we'll go ahead and install again Bartender. Again, it's installed, that's it. That's all you need to do to install add-ons. So once your add-ons are installed, you can log into the game and you'll see down here, you'll have an add-ons button. Go ahead and click this. You'll have all of your add-ons you've installed this list below. I have some disabled, some are automatically disabled. Um, and I always check load out of date add-ons, but this can cause problems if the add-ons are out of date, but I always check it. Go into the game here and show you where you can access these in game. Yeah, once you're in game here, you can simply hit escape, click on add-ons, and again, you'll see a similar list of all of your add-ons installed. But the way you configure some of them, if not most of them, is go to escape, options, add-ons, and you'll see add-ons listed here. So a lot of them are listed and have their settings where you configure settings, their data, customization, and things like that. So again, very simple to do. Um, I know there's a lot of new people coming with Dragonfly coming out tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't wait. So I hope this helps you if you're new to WoW and need to know how to install add-ons. See you in the next one.